Hi guys, today we'll be doing the four phase audit system and we're doing the fourth phase of the audit system today. We'll also be doing the content audit. If you haven't already seen the, um, the first couple of videos where we cover the phase one, the phase two and the phase three, go and watch them because this video will make more sense. Um, I will leave a, uh, links to all, this, to all the videos in the descriptions below. Um, if you haven't already seen the um, phase one audit, what I'm doing is I'm actually offering the uh, foundational audit for free. Um, so if you just send me an email, I'll leave my email in the description below and I'll do that for free for you. If you own a website or your business owner and you own a website, I can sort that out for you. And what we do is we analyze all the different foundational issues of the site. So I recommend watching that first before you before you go ahead and email me. So then you'll understand a bit more about it. Um, so yeah, also if you haven't, uh, I have done like a, a video on a Duda SEO and we're offering a free checklist and you haven't already seen that video already, go and watch it because I'm offering it for free. I'm offering a free Duda SEO checklist. Um, it's basically similar to the foundational audit system, but it's kind of a bit more bespoke to Duda. Um, so if you want that, all you have to do is join my um, Facebook group and effectively in the Facebook group, you'll be able to see different updates of my videos and things like that. But when you join that Facebook group, group you'll be able to download the uh, checklist on there um, I will leave a link in the description below for that so yeah excellent before we move on first of all I'd like to say thank you very much if you uh, if you've seen all the different videos phase one phase two and phase three if you've seen them you've engaged with them I'd say I really appreciate it thank you very much um, and I hope to bring more content that's value to you and you start to learn a bit more about SEO and marketing different things like that um, so thank you very much also I'd like to say a big big thanks to to, um, Dr. Khalid uh, for letting me audit his website and the fact that he stayed engaged throughout each video and gave me comments and different things like that. So I really appreciate it. Um, thank you very much, Dr. Khalid. And before we um, before we move on, um, we're actually going to answer a comment from Dr. Khalid that he um, said on my previous video, part three, where we cover keyword research and competitor research. So I recommend you go watch that. Um, so yeah, <clears throat> so. Thanks, Leo. The very the videos are very well made, and you've done a great job. Thank you very much, Dr. Khaled. I really appreciate it. Um, though I'm a doctor, but I've done a lot of learning on digital marketing in the few months. So first of all, I'd like to say any business owner should learn digital marketing. It's the way forward. It's the way we're going. Um, if you don't know, if you aren't familiar with it, um, and you are a business owner, it can improve your business quite considerably. Um, you can learn it yourself. You don't have to hire someone to do it, right? You can learn it if you just spend the time learning you can do it yourself you know um, just watch videos online you know make sure that they're um, real videos people that actually know what they're doing you know check them out online possibly if to see if they own an agency see if they run a company whatever it is but make sure you're finding the right people and you're learning the right things about digital marketing right <clears throat> so thank you very much um, Dr. Khaled for that that's uh, that excellent um, I like that you use a framework from Chase um, so Chase is an excellent guy um, I followed I followed him for quite some time um, I love his teachings I love his framework especially his SEO framework I use it for different clients um, I really recommend him go and watch him um, I can I believe all of his teachings you know they all work they all have proof um, so I go and watch, go and watch them um, and I used all of his teachings for different clients right I like that you're familiar with Duda so one of the things about SEO um, well running an SEO campaign or a marketing campaign I like to call it um, is you need to be in control of all different aspects of a website or a website or a marketing campaign the paid the social um, the pay, uh, you know the the um, SEO the content the conversion rate optimization if you to be a marketing agency you need to be in control of all aspects of the marketing campaign right because that funnel right so you run the customers from the advertising all the way down to the um, opt-in they go to, through the website they go through the um, the call to actions they look at different pages and things they all need to be as of high quality as of each other right they need to be a full high you know they need to be a high quality marketing campaign to really convert that customer right so one of the things I like to think of is is um, if you take a car business for example or a car dealership and they've done some advertising, maybe like a leaflet or a billboard, whatever it is. And that customers come from that advertising into the car business. If the car business is, you know, is you know, isn't very nice. The um, the salesman is quite rude. There isn't many uh, good reviews. Whatever it is, the inside isn't very clean. They're not going to want to buy from you, right? So it's key 
that you um, make sure it's the same principles online. If you do great advertising and you get the customer onto the website, it's key that your website reflects your business in a way that um, is going to convert customers, right? So it's key that you own every every aspect of the marketing campaign um, to really give it um, to really uh, convert customers, right? And show that your your um, to show the business owner that um, you can actually provide them with results because I don't believe that you'll provide customers with the full results if you don't control every aspect of the marketing campaign, right? Um, so it's key that you do that. Um, and that's why I believe Duda is a great platform. Anyone can use it, especially SEOs. It's built for SEO. It's built for page speed. Um, they, you know, they install a free SSL certificate. They install a free robot.txt, whatever it is. If you haven't already seen my Duda SEO video, go and watch it because I really recommend them. If you are starting out in SEO or if you're an agency um, using WordPress or something like that, use Duda. Um, anyways. I love that you understand the user, uh, the user, the importance of user intent, both business owner and client searching for a solution to a problem. So I believe that solely um, one of the most important things in SEO is user intent and um, staying in touch with the business owner, right? So you're selling relationships, you're not selling SEO services, well, you're not selling services, you're selling relationships, right? If you can't get the relationship, you're never going to go anywhere near doing their marketing campaign, right? Before you can start, you know, building, um, you know, marketing campaigns and making money and all that different things, you have to build relationships. If you can't build relationships, you're in the wrong, you're in the wrong industry, right? So building relationships is the number one thing that you need to do. Um, if you're ever going to start any sort of marketing campaign, any sort of business, any sort of client services business, is building relationships, right? Um, so, excellent. Uh, I have a question. Do you write content for clients that you're trying to rank? Or do you outsource it? I think you'll probably talk about this in phase four. So um, when I first started out, I was using different platforms such as Verblio, um, iWriter, Writer's Access, all these different things. Um, and as I got uh, a bit more into it, I started using uh, local people to my area. So I use freelancers and a local business um, to write the content because I like going over to them, discussing the campaigns with them, discussing the content needs to be written um, each month. And I can actually speak with them in person. So I really enjoy doing that rather than um, getting someone else to outsource it for, getting someone else to do it. I don't, I can't really have like, um, I can't really speak to them. Um, it's all through sort of messenger, email, whatever it is. I don't like that. I like to go and speak to the person um, and actually discuss the content and why, what we need from it, what we need this, we need the keywords, we need the um, no duplicate content, whatever it is. Because one of the issues I was having when I first started out using these companies, a lot of the outsourced content that I was using was um, duplicate content from other people. And I was having this issue. And one of the main things um, that companies have issues with is duplicate content when they're trying to rank for certain keywords. If you have tons of duplicate content on your site, as mentioned in the phase two video, um, is you're not going to rank very well. So it's really important that your duplicate con your all your um, all your content isn't plagiarized, right? Um, so that's why I like to go to local businesses and local freelancers um, before I do any sort of content campaign or anything like that. So I hope that's answered your question. Um, for the minute, due to the coronavirus period, or for some what reason they might not be able to do it. I will have to result to um, going back to companies like Verblio or Writers Access. Um, but either way, whatever the text is, it will be checked for plagiarized content. Um, it will be checked for, you know, obviously it will be revised multi multiple times to check for any English mistakes, whatever, any mistakes. Um, it will be most premium cust um, people that write the content. Um, we use Writers Access and you can actually choose, you know, if you want a premium writer, an amateur writer, whatever it is. Um, so we always go for the premium um, and either way, all the text that goes onto the website or is published onto the website, onto the blog, onto the pages, it always goes through the business owner first because it's a reflection of their business. So we want to make sure the business owner is happy with it before we um, publish a blog post or a service page or whatever it is. So I hope that's answered your question um, and thank you very much for your question again. So let's get into the video today. <clears throat> so today we'll be basically going over how you can build engagement um, to different platforms such as your blog posts, videos, um, social platforms, uh, you know, um, uh, reviews, get more reviews, whatever it is, you want to start building engagement to certain um, assets, right? And you want to control your um, traffic, right? So one of the ways you can do this is using either text or video. 
Um, so if we go to a whiteboard, my whiteboard, right? We start drawing here. So what you want is you want to have some sort of text or video um, strategy, right? And if you have both, excellent. Um, if you just have one, not a problem. Um, but if you can do both, um, even if it's just doing a load of text every month, but only doing a couple of videos, it's still great. Um, but if you can just do text or you can just do video, either way, it's brilliant, right? So if you're just doing a video, first of all, I'll show you how you can, you can sort of optimize um, for video and how you can optimize for text. And we'll start off with video first. Either way, you want an opt-in, right? So either one, you want some sort of opt-in in or some sort of goal from the video right um so we go down to here <clears throat> and this opt-in um isn't for well you know well, the, the end goal is to create conversions, right? To create money and to create um, customers and get to get customers in the door. But the first thing you need before you, you do anything like that is you want to create authority in your market. You want to create engagement in your market, especially if it's SEO. Um, the way the sort of Google search, Google search platform, the way online is going is all about authority and trust. Um, trust and value, something I mentioned in my How to Get SEO Clients video. There are two things that are really important um, with any sort of marketing campaign, any sort of business online, anything really is trust and value, right? So trust and value up here, trust and value. <clears throat> so, and how can you take that trust and value um, and convey it or almost build your trust and value online? And that's by offering an opt-in that's free a free opt-in, right? So then you can start building engagement, right? And you can start building rankings, but at the same time, you can start building authority. So you can start building um, for, uh, local and national um, rankings, and you can build authority and trust. <clears throat> and I'll show you how to do this, right? So I'm going to give you an example of how I do this, and I'm going to show you um, the um, the way I've done this for one um, so one subscriber that has my I am small, don't get me wrong, but I've done this for other clients as well. Um, but I'm going to show you how I did this for myself. I'm going to show you with one person that's gone through this system. Um, they went through the video strategy. So they started off by watching one of my videos on my channel, right? And what they did was they watched the Duda SEO video video right first of all right, okay first of all the title has free checklists included so immediately that will stand out when compared to other um, uh, other uh, videos that are well other people that are doing videos just like um, me right um, and a lot of them first of all are do the videos and about the website builder but I've actually done a video that's a bit different bit of a black sheep approach and they've done a Duda SEO video. So more about the SEO sort of side of things in Duda. And I've also said free checklist included. So first of all, we've got an incentive, right? So when you click on there, you know that there's going to be a free checklist included. And the first, um, the first start of the video, right? The start of the video, I mentioned how you can get the free checklist if you join my Facebook group. So it says join my Facebook group, blah, 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 uh, free checklist included. And we've got the Facebook group here. So when you click on that Facebook group, um, just to be sure, we'll go back, just keep you on track. So you've done the video, right? And then you've got the opt-in, which is join the Facebook group. So I'm um, just going to remind you guys. So you've got the Facebook group here. So join the Facebook group. So they've joined the Facebook group. So we've got one piece of engagement. So we can still re remarket them through the Facebook group, first of all. So that's one. That's one point. I guess you could call it points, point, point system, maybe. There's one point there. And then when they land on the um, Facebook group, um, what you can do is you can either um, you can set you can set up a link using something called ManyChat, and we mentioned this in our um, so we've got the videos there. So say if we've done the video X, and then we set up ManyChat. So I'm I'm going off a bit a bit off topic right now, but um, it will make sense in a minute. So what you want to do is you want to set up something called ManyChat. And mini chat is kind of like an automation process um, and you can basically automate your relationship building um, and you can basically automate this process using mini chat. Um, so say if we go over to uh, automation or um, flows, so you set up a flow and I call this do the SEO checklist. So we have our free resource and what this includes is when you click on this link, I'll just show you now when you click on this link. Um, so it says, Let's welcome our first member, Joshua Bryan. He's joined the um, the uh, Facebook group from my video. And it says, thanks, Joshua. If you'd like our free dude SEO checklist, please click here. 
or I have done another link. Hey, thanks for joining. If you want the free duty SEO, check this, click here. So when they click there, right, it comes up with a message to their Facebook. Hello, Leo or Leo or Joshua, whatever it is, it will be, um, it'll be, it's coded to go with your first name. It says, thank you for joining our group. Before I send you the free resources or the resources, can you do me a favor and leave a like on our Facebook page? So what we've done is we've actually got them to go and like the Facebook page. So I have a, not only do I have a group, I have a Facebook page. So Joshua went and liked the Facebook page. So that's another point. So we've got um, Facebook page, Facebook page, right? And that's one point there. So we've actually got two points. We've already got two pieces of engagement, right? So we've got two pieces of engagement before we've even given away the free resource, right? So we've um, done the Facebook page and the Facebook group just from our video, right? And then what it does is it waits 60 seconds. So we've coded it so it goes to um, 60 seconds. And then it comes back and it goes, Leo, I appreciate the support. Here's the free Duda SEO checklist. So they've got the checklist, right? So they've been given the free resource, <clears throat> right? So they've got the free resource. And then you want to build authority and trust for other people to see. So what you can do is you can actually go and ask, um, if we go onto uh, my page, Facebook page, um, we go into inbox. So I haven't set this up using the automation process. I just attempted doing it um, just by doing it manually and typing to Joshua. Um, uh, thanks Joshua, appreciate the support. If you could leave a review on the resources I gave you here, I'd really appreciate it. So then if we go to Neatpack, right, which is my agency, com uh, my company, and we go to reviews, he's left us a review, right? So we've, we've, so from giving away that free resource, we've got a Facebook group join, we've got a Facebook page join, we've got obviously views to our video, and we've also built authority and trust getting the reviews, right? Um, and then once we do that, by building that authority and trust and getting that extra review, the more, more reviews you have on your um, on your Google My Business, the higher you'll rank. So it's re um, well, you can do certain things like doing categories and um, uh, the title tag and having the uh, you know citations and things. But if you have solely, if you have loads and loads of reviews, you'll rank the higher the higher the re you'll rank, right? So if you get more reviews, you'll actually rank higher. So what we've got is we've actually built our local, um, we've actually brought our local uh, um, rankings up by getting a review. So we've got Facebook page, Facebook group join, and we've got a review. So that increases our local um, local uh, um, rankings. So I hope this I've explained this well. But the way you can do this as well, you can do this with text as well. So I'm going to show you how you can do this with text. Um, so if we go through the text point of view and say we give an example like the company we're working for now. Um, so we go over to Florida TMS Clinic and they're currently doing a text strategy. So they're using blogs. Right. Um, and we do, as mentioned in my previous video, I talk about how you should rank for national keywords, not only local keywords, because once you rank for national keywords, you can start implementing implementing this process. Right. Um, so if we started to rank for, uh, sorry, um, uh, so it, say if this company was using a text strategy, which is it, which it is, it's using blog posts, and we wanted to rank for something like um, keyword research in phase three, and we look at our national keywords, and we wanted to rank for something like um, uh, uh, OCD, right, o TMS OCD treatment. And we go into Ahrefs and we just find out how much, um, actually it says, obviously it says on our on our page. So TMS OCD treatment is getting 100. Um, so not 100, yeah, 100. So if we just look into, um, just check that out for a second, because I believe I did check this out. So um, TMS OCD treatment, um, TMS OCD, what's it? Ah, TMS4 OCD, right? So this is a national keyword. It doesn't have a location modifier in it. Um, and say if we created a blog post with a bunch of text on and, you know, all that good stuff for SEO, um, but we had an opt-in on that blog post. Say, for example, this was the blog post for um, OCD, right? And this was called TMS OCD, and we ranked for something like TMS OCD, and we had some sort of call to action or some sort of opt-in, just like I have on my video. And then what they do is they say, and it's some sort of guide, you're giving away some sort of guide for TMS OCD, you're giving away some sort of checklist, whatever it is, and they click on that. But first of all, it says we're using the many chat. It goes to their Facebook and it says, first of all, can you um, just like we've done in our many chat, right? Um, it says, first of all, can you uh, comment on our blog post? So what they do is they come back to this blog post. They go down to the bottom and they leave a comment, right? 
what that shows is engagement in Google, right? The more comments and more um, social signals you get to your blog post, the higher you'll rank in terms of engagement, right? So they'll come back here, they'll comment, and then they'll get their free resource. And then what you can do after that is like I've done is shortly after ask for a re review on the um, on the free resources you gave them. So the guide, you could ask for a review and they can give you a review from there. So it's a really interesting way. So what you've done in this way, so you've gone from text, um, you've done the opt-in, right? But instead of asking them to join a Facebook page or a Facebook group, you've asked them to go back and comment on blog post. And what that creates is, um, first of all, it creates engagement, right? It shows to Google your um, customers are engaging with your content, your client, uh, the people, the readers, and it also shows social signals and social signals, um, which basically means that you're coming from uh, Facebook or Instagram or whatever it is, and your um, and Google sees this as a social signal and you're engaging with content. So that blog post over time, um, because it's ranked for a national keyword and it will rank higher and higher and higher because of the more engagement it gets. And you'll get uh, reviews out of it as well. So you can ask for reviews on the resources. So you're actually building, go back to the whiteboard, you're actually building um, rankings, right, first of all. And you're building, um, so you're building national rankings, right? Um, and you're building local rankings because because people visiting, because right, I'll, what I'm saying is, so first of all, you're building um, engagement and social signals, and that ranks you nationally, right? And then what you're doing is you're building authority and trust because you're asking for a review on the resources you gave them. And then you're building la uh, national rankings, obviously, and you're also building local rankings because what you're doing is you're taking national traffic to a local listing, right? So you're taking uh, local uh, national traffic to a local listing. <coughs> national traffic to local listing. Which effectively, when Google sees this, it will increase your rankings um, and your traffic higher in the Google search engine. One of the things we noticed in our previous video, um, I did notice one of the competitors was, that was outranking our site was actually um, ranking higher, even though they had less word, word count and on page than us. And they were ranking higher than us based off of the traffic, really. That was it, really. They were getting a lot more traffic, so they were ranking higher. So it's all one of the number one things with Google is engagement based, um, is engagement based metrics. So if you get loads and loads of engagement to a site, um, you'll actually rank higher. That's why you see some websites that look awful, but because they're getting so much engagement, they're ranking higher and higher and higher. <laughs> So it's all about engagement, right? And this is one of the ways you can build engagement. <clears throat> I hope I, I hope I've explained that well. Um, effectively, the phase four system covers all of these different things. So it, you know you, you've got the uh, many chat set up. Um, you've got the autoresponder, which is the many chat. Um, you've got two free uh, call to actions. So what you want to have is um, a free resource, a free resource um, resource, and you want to have a free service. So just like me at the start of this video, I offered a free do the checklist and I offered a free phase one audit, right? So it's a free service and a free resource. But effectively, the free resource is to build audiences um, and the free service is to get people in the door. So it's more of a kind of in the middle between free and paid because you're still going to be going for the paid, um, the paid, uh, the opt in, the conversion, right? Um, so free resources, and then you have the UCG game plan. You don't really have to, I mean, monthly free offers is something that you can offer if you're doing social campaigns and things like that. You can offer maybe like a free, um, I don't know, a free, uh, you know, uh, appointment, whatever it is, some sort of free giveaway. Um, but effectively, this is all about building audiences and building engagement, because if you can build engagement and you can siphon it to um, certain pages, certain social um, reviews, whatever it is, effectively you can rank, right? Um, if you build loads of loads of engagement, you literally don't have to worry about phase three, phase two. Phase... Like if you brought, if you brought a load of engagement to a page, you'll rank. But the reason why we do the phase one, the phase two, and the phase three is because if you're doing a text strategy or a phase, you know, uh, the phase four strategy, you want to be able to rank to a certain point, and then you can start building engagement, right? Um, I hope that's. I hope I've explained that well. But effectively, what I'm saying is engagement is the number one most important SEO 
factor out of everything, right? Um, and if you can build as much engagement as you want, like if you can build loads and loads of engagement, you'll rank for whatever, really. You can rank for whatever you want. So I hope I've explained that well. Now we move on to the content audit. So effectively, this is really easy. What this is, is you just want to have hrefs. And say we'll just take TMS for OCD, for example, because you've got that in there. Um, we'll plug that into, so if we wanted to write some content about TMS for OCD, we'll plug that keyword into there. And then we want to find out certain things like a long tail keywords. Um, so what a long tail keywords are, um, they're kind of TMS for OCD. So I'll just show you an example of what long tail keywords are really. So you've got um, so the same sort of words, um, TMS for OCD, TMS therapy for OCD. Oh. One second, in the same terms, um, TMS, TMS for therapy for OCD, um, therapy for OCD related phrases, TMS therapy for, we could do long tail, that's a long tail keyword, um, do TMS treatment for OCD, TMS protocol for OCD, and I'll explain the value of this in a minute. <coughs> Um, does TMS work for or deep TMS for OCD? Um, um, and then you want to go for more sort of semantic keywords and things. Um, but effectively, what this means is when you build this out, you can start to build out. You want to kind of build it out in the same sort of format this is if you're building some sort of blog post, maybe. So what you want to have is you want to have, um, you know, TMS for OCD is your H1 tag. So that's the main title tag. And then you have your, you know, TMS therapy for OCD, maybe a H2. And then TMS treatment for OCD or TMS protocol, deep TMS for OCD, all these different things. Because it builds topical relevance to that page, right? Google will see you as an authoritative um, page if you're covering all, um, you know, covering all areas, right? Um, and if you're covering all these different areas, because it doesn't really matter about the volume, right? Really, it kind of matters about if you can build lots of content around TMS for OCD, lots of you know, um, you know, uh, semantic keywords, long tail keywords, all these different things. It builds more um, content, obviously. First of all, you can write more content about it, um, and it shows that you're kind of uh, topical. It's topical relevance, so you're building more um, relevance around this topic, so it builds it up. Um, so that's the whole, that's literally it really. And then you can move on to um, using sort of competitive research and things. So what you can do is you can find out who's ranking for TMS OCD um, in the United States. Um, so you could go to, uh, you know, um, different uh, pages like uh, Success or Deep TMS um, OCD Treatment. Um, so you can take this page first of all, like I say, right, you can use hrefs to read the data that you can't see. But you also want to read the data that you can see. Um, and so when you look at this, this page, what do you see, right? So what you can see is a page type. So you want to build uh, content that is based off of user intent. So if I went to um, uh, search Google USA, so obviously I'm based in the UK, um, and you went to uh, keyword TMS for OCD. Is it TMS for OCD, yeah. We plug that in. We can start to see what pages are ranking for this keyword. So you're using your own eyeballs in your head to see what pages are ranking for these keywords. Right. So right off the bat, when I land on this page, there's no sort of free resource or um, or call to action around here. I mean, there's a call to action up here, but there's no sort of paid or free resource down here. Um, you can take this page and you can put it into Word Counter, Word Page Counter, um, oh, oh, uh, Website Page Counter. You can plug it in there and you can see how many words is needed to rank. So 2,180 words. Um, so it's quite a few words to rank for that keyword. You can look at it. So what type of um, page is it? Is it a service page? Is it a blog post? All these different things. So this looks like a blog post. It's got um, a couple of sort of um, points here. Um, you know, uh, list. It's not a list type content. Is it a list type? So imagery. Um, it's got images. It's got loads of images. A call to action there. Um, images, videos, um, and then you've got the call to action right at the bottom down here. So if we went back into our um, content audit down here, we can say, you know, uh, blog post or information page in information page. Uh, images added, yes. Um, and you can say, yes, video added. Um, you can check in Copyscape if the page is, uh, um, if there's some sort of, copied content on the page, so we go to Copyscape, 
and we can plug it in like that. And we see if it's, um, some of the text content has been copied. We click on here. Um, so not too much copy really here. And we can check, you know, if it's, if it's quite serious amount of copied text content, all these different things. But effectively, you want to look at the differences between them all. And you want to find out why certain ones are ranking compared to others. So you can look at this one, lots and lots of content. However, it's quite interesting because this one doesn't have images like the other one doesn't have videos. It's just pure content. So maybe we can look at, you know, what's, or we look at this page, so it's there. Um, so we can look at different things like this and we can actually compare the data to find out why this one's ranking higher than the other, even though the other has like videos and things like that. Um, so just by looking at it, links, but um, so we're looking at brains, is it brains, brains, yeah, brains way. Um, so backlinks, a couple more backlinks, domain, referring domains. So clearly off the bat, this one's getting more traffic to 217 compared to 85. So it's getting more engagement. As, as mentioned earlier, engagement's higher, so it'll rank higher. Um, it's actually ranking for more keywords. So 369, that one, that one's only got 23. So that's a good point, actually. This is the reason why we do the content audit, because we want to find all these different keywords um, and try and rank for them just like this page here because this page is ranking for a heck of a lot more keywords than that um, than this page down here. So we click on these keywords and we actually find out what keywords they're ranking for. So, you know, TMS treat, uh, for OCD, RTMS OCD, ECT OCD, deep TMS OCD, all these different keywords. And that's probably one of the reasons why they're ranking higher than the other pages. So you kind of have want to have a mixture. You want to look at um, using your eyeballs and you want to look at hrefs to see certain data that you can't see, like the keywords it's ranking for or certain things like that. Um, so it is really important, the content audit, because it's all about how you can make effectively. You just want, if you want to rank for a certain national keyword or a local keyword, you want to go in here and you want to start to look at the differences between each of you know competitors and different pages and things like that to find out you know, um, what you can do better. So you can take your content and you can make it better. Um, and you can add certain things like that they're not, you know, you can add, um, you can rank for more keywords maybe if that's if that's what's ranking them higher. You can add videos, you can add images, um, you can do a free resource. So you just want to make your content better than the competitors. That's all it is really. Um, and that's what the content audit is about. <clears throat> so I hope I've explained that well. Um, if you have any questions, just comment below and I can sort it out. Um, again, if you want the phase one audit for free, I can sort, sort it out for you. Just send me an email and I can help that. Um, I can do a free um, phase one audit for you. Um, just let me know. And uh, yeah.